Hi, my name is Amanda and today I'm going to go over lithium carbonate with you. Sometimes it goes by the name Escalith or Lithobid. A little about this drug. This medication is a mood stabilizer and works to restore the natural balance of neurotransmitters in the brain. When you're using this medication, you want to make sure you follow the directions on your prescription label and take this medication by mouth the same time every day. You want to take it with meals or immediately after a meal. It's important not to crush or chew this medication. It may take one to three weeks to notice any improvement in symptoms. If you happen to miss a dose, it's okay just to take it as soon as you remember, unless it's within six hours of your next dose. In that case, skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the regular time. Do not take double or extra doses. Some of the common side effects include drowsiness, dizziness, increased thirst, increased urination, mildly shaking hands, weight gain. Now I know this can sound scary, but remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because he or she has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk. And many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. But if you do experience symptoms of lithium toxicity, such as diarrhea, vomiting, ringing in the ears, blurred vision, trouble walking, unusual drowsiness, seizures, shaking, loss of consciousness, it's important that you contact poison control immediately. Before you take this medication, it's important to let your doctor know if you're on any diuretics. Sometimes these can be referred to as fluid pills. Examples of this is furosemide, such as Lasix, um, hydrochlorothiazide, or chlorothalidone. Other medications that you need to let your healthcare provider know about are ACE inhibitors, ARBs, or NSAIDs. Uh, if you have heart disease or kidney disease, you also need to let them know. When you're storing your medication, keep out of reach of children and pets, store at room temperature, protect the medication from light, and protect it from moisture in the air. So don't store it in the bathroom. Make sure you store it in a dry room in your house, such as the kitchen cabinets or something like that. Okay, thank you.